Look at this thing. The Hummer EV. Redneck visit. So the following was a couple days ago when I went out to a place that needed some work done on some of the utility vehicles. And basically the name of the game was as cheap as possible, get the thing moving. It had a lot of other problems. And so it was not going to be the right thing to replace everything that was bad. So basically as cheap as possible, no new parts, use what you have on hand. It was a blast. So I hope you laugh and enjoy it. I just happened to take a few minutes of video during the uh, well, I did it the other day, so. Day two of trying to get some Ingersoll ran club car Bobcat 22 or 2300s running. Uh, basically what happened was a tie rod snapped, an axle got really messed up, and uh, the wheel was all messed up. So last time I was here, I took some stuff apart and um, put a tie rod back on that came off of this machine. And um, then also, this differential is all loose. <sighs> so, thankfully, the other side appears to be okay. It's not, like, busted totally. So, basically, anyways, the goal here, uh, as you see, we took off this um, upper control arm. The goal here, and the thing that was wrong with this upper control arm, was that <sighs> the ball joint snapped off. And so, it's not acting as a control arm anymore. And so instead of replacing uh, that ball joint, we're just gonna grab an equally bad upper control arm that still works off of this buggy and put it onto this buggy. Very, very fun. And right now, we're just heating up this little bolt so that that will hopefully come off. And yeah, let's see if all that heating up did anything. Well, not that I can really... Whoa! Epic! That's cool! It actually worked! That's wild! Nice! Brand new axle to put in there. Look at that high quality. Wow, I think the slip ring completely rusted off. Where's the slip ring? For any reason. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> ah. That kind of satisfaction is hard to come by. I mean, do when the numbers come out right. Well, yeah. No, that's true. It's just as fun when maple works. <laughs> um. Can I try using this for a second? Okay. Uh, yep. Wow, that is a messed up bolt. There's the sleeve. <laughs> Let's show the camera. Sleeve. Sparkling clean. Bolt. Super clean. Threads in amazing shape. Wait, threads in amazing shape? Yep. How? Okay. No, I mean, I'm lying. So, with this little ball joint that we're using, um, no grease. And I forgot to bring the grease. So, I just went over here and grabbed a little bit of grease out of here. Super good quality. Full of extra dirt. Waller that around in there. Call it a day. There we go. Suburban key works great in there. All right, we got all those tie rods and stuff back in there. I've not tightened up the differential yet. You can hit the gas. So, um, unfortunately, that's still moving around a little bit, but we got that. All right, uh, hit the gas. Okay, hit the brake. I ratchet strapped the differential in place. So it's now tight. Super smart, super redneck. What? I'm 
giving up on this half shaft as a whole piece because the ring up there is missing so it keeps sliding out of the differential and i tried popping the cv off of one of the uh, garbage axles so i could just stuff it in that corner and hold the uh, wheel hub assembly together with it but just have three wheel drive but unfortunately it wouldn't pop out so i'm just gonna have to um cut it off here Grungy. Just gonna throw it in right into the wheel hub assembly. It'll keep everything together. Right, because all you need is that outer CV. Just something to keep in mind when you're on the trail and you're like, oh no, how am I gonna keep going? So your axle snaps, right? You don't want it to be waving around, smacking things. Literally, just, I mean, if you can, just pop this off, right? I don't cut it off, but if it won't pop off of the half shaft, just cut this off, throw it back in the wheel hub assembly. Don't, don't forget about that, because it gets you out of trouble. Three wheel drive. Well, we're all done. It is now a operational three wheel drive with a ratchet strap holding the differential in place. Bobcat 22, no, 2300. Also known as a club car, 1500 XRT, made by Ingersoll Rand. Pretty fun. Redneck. Kind of like being a mechanic in the apocalypse because I didn't use any new parts. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm.